Hello friends, we'll see a class that enables us to draw a freehand line in a screen uh, through with, with the help of a mouse click and drag. We'll use an elements in the class to implement the event listeners. This drawing will be cleared when any key is placed and the line color should be selectable. So we'll write a class to demonstrate this program. Now, as we know that we need to draw a line, we require an applet and we need to allow user to select a color. So we'll have a string implementation. So this program will be the implementation of a freehand drawing using color or with the color using swings and the applet. So I am giving my program name as uh, freehand. We'll declare some variable like a last x value, x y coordinates, and the new x y coordinates. That's why drawing a line, we require a first starting point and the last endpoints. We also require a color. We require a button. And we are allowing user to select your own color. We will we'll use the J color chooser. on the panel. So this is how we'll be getting the object of the panel, which is the content pane, the area. Uh, we're defining the layout for it. Same very simple we we'll go for a flow layout next we'll add the button say choose color and now on the click of a button we want something to happen that something is nothing but allowing user to select your own color so we'll use the add action listener on the top of a button this is how when we say that around me is inner class so we'll go for the listener and in inner class which is action listener which has action perform method which we need to override
creating our own listener here. We'll have our own logic. This all will happen when at the time of initialization. Let's say, let it be. Let it be a different class altogether. On the click of a mouse press, we want to have the, the focus should be in the window. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to get the, what is the last X? It is the last X and last Y. Same time, we're going to have the mouse motion uh, uh, listener. Then we'll go and use the mouse adapters, uh, mouse drag event. and new lines will draw the line. So uh, we use mouse 
listener, mouse adapter, mouse press event, mouse press method to get the last x and y coordinates. We use the mouse track method of the mouse motion adapter to get the new x and new y. And once your line is strong, once our line is strong, what we'll do is nothing but we'll store the coordinates, the new coordinates as the last x and y so that we don't miss them. And we also say in our query that if any key is placed, it will be given. choose a dialog box I'll select let's say red color I'll click on OK and now here we need to drag or write up row and I'm pressing C it's gone so this is the program We use nothing but the we use the button on the click of uh, on initialization we want when you click on a button we need to have the dialog box which is nothing but the color chooser dialog box and for this what we did is we use color chooser so whenever like, you click on ok that color need to be passed to it that's what we did the and we store into color which is nothing but the SS variable and then when we have the mouse drag event we want to draw a line so to draw a line we require the x y coordinates two x y coordinates every time so new and the previous so your new coordinate should be stored in a previous every time your line goes ahead and ahead so that you never miss the or you never lost the previous values or the new values that's why we store once the drawing is line once the line is drawn we'll store the new coordinates into last x y coordinates and the mouse press event is to get the last x by coordinates and key listener once you click on c it gets cleared thanks for watching this program